Stations of the Cross. The 14 Stations of the Cross traditionally portray the final journey of Jesus from his condemnation until his death and burial. These pictures were copied by our sister Celestine from the paintings of German artists Fugel and Feuerstein. It was a tedious project which took her from 1910 until 1922. They were hand painted on royal Berlin porcelain tile, each one painted four times and fired after each painting. The furniture. The choir stalls are used by the sisters when they gather for prayers together each morning and evening. The front section of the chapel is where Mass is celebrated. Chairs there, as well as other tables and the podium, were designed by Mr. Ramirez. They copy the color and the curved design of the choir stalls. The main altar was designed and built by Joe Ramirez after the other altars, front, center, and both sides, were removed. He surfaced word nodes that would lead to those forms possible for the altar. Hospitality, holiness, brightness, stillness, simplicity, centering, convergence, gathering, contemplation, ritual memory, and metaphor. He read and reread the gospel accounts of the Last Supper, the events of arrival, gathering and sharing the meal, and dismissal from the holy table. He wanted all to grow out of one another and take shape within the altar. He wanted to have an element of narration that would be in flux, but revolving around a still point. He wanted it to reflect and mirror the whole space, basic color of the murals, green, blue, arches, gessoed sides, bringing dark tone of the floor to join light tone of the upper part of the chapel. Tabernacle. The tabernacle was also designed and built by Mr. Ramirez. He wanted to include the central elements contained in the Old Testament descriptions of the Ark of the Covenant. He took the exterior description from Exodus 25 and 26 as a starting place, but desired to create within the worshiper an internal space for evoking reflection on the Eucharist in residence. Using the actual paint that was first used to paint the original murals, he chose the colors purple, blue, and scarlet. Cherubim shall spread out their wings above. Mercy seat, the covering of solid gold. He deliberately did not make the ark according to the biblical account. He deliberately avoided cliché or caricature. He used the Old Testament influences as qualities of presence that would revolve around and permeate the notion and experience of Christ present among us. The largest blue wings are very precise and linear in style. Looking inward, one can see the purple, violet underlinings of these wings. In the center, there are four sets of wings in scarlet and vermilion red. These painted more loosely and more atmospherically in style. He intended that the painting not be blatantly obvious nor unnecessarily obscure. He used an image that contained a sense of solitude and a gentle oscillation between the internal and the external, like a breath or soft whisper. Now do I get...